guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be yet another exciting Sephora haul. My favorite videos to film, seriously. Like there's nothing better than like going through your new makeup and just like talking about all the great things that they do and they're supposed to do. I don't know, Sephora hauls are like literally my favorite videos to film and to watch, so we got another one today. I I took a little a little stroll down Sephora and I got some goodies, so I'm excited to talk about them. Uh, first, let's dive into skincare because, you know, I think I actually only got one thing in skincare. I only got one thing, surprisingly. Everything else is makeup, but anyways, let's jump in. The first thing I got is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. <gasps> you guys, and I really suck at like giving descriptions, so I'm just gonna read off the description on Sephora website because I suck. Uh, watermelon glow. I got a sample of this stuff you guys and I literally used it for one night or like I used it once and I put it on before I went to sleep and then I woke up the next day and I swear to god my skin was like legit glowing like I'm not even kidding like glowing so I was like that's it. Sold after one night and I, I kept using it for like a week until I finished the sample Oh my god, like it just made my skin so so nice and so hydrated so I I had to buy it But let me just read what it says Um, it's a skin smoothing radiance boosting nightly sleeping mask with watermelon hyaluronic acid and AHAS that gently exfoliates and refine the look of pores. So this is for normal, dry combination and oily skin. It helps pores, dryness, and oiliness, and it's a lightweight mask. I use it more as like a nighttime like moisturizer. It is a mask, but I pretty much use it like every night because it's so nice and only a little goes a long way and it really does smell like watermelon. Like it's so nice. And when I went to go buy it today, I tried their like um, the watermelon hydrating spray. What is it called? The Glow Recipe Water Watermelon Glow Ultra Ultra Fine Mist. This stuff, this bomb too. I didn't buy it, but it was really, really nice. Anyways, I am really like I know I already love this, so I would definitely recommend this. Um, the next thing that I got, we're just gonna I guess I'm just gonna pick whatever I get. <laughs> and we'll talk about that. So the next thing that I got that I'm wearing today and I am seriously obsessed with, like I was obsessed immediately upon application, and it is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless Foundation. And you guys, the name is no joke. Like it literally looks flawless. Like look at my skin, it looks airbrushed, it looks flawless. It, like my cousin was like dude it really does look flawless it's crazy it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup and it just looks so natural and so beautiful and it is definitely on the full coverage side so a little goes a really really long way and the packaging you guys is so cute all of Charlotte Tilbury's uh, packaging is super cute just to show you guys like oh my gosh I love when they have like these frosted bottles and then it has a pump, which everyone, you know, who doesn't love a foundation with a pump, but it's just such cute packaging as well. It's really good product. And I've been looking for like a foundation that I would like just like be in love with and just like would totally perfect my skin. And I think this is it because I really, really, really love the way this looks. The like, color range I think was pretty good as well. I'm in the shade uh, 7.5 Warm Chowd, Chowd, Chowd. Um, it's C-H-A-U-D. I suck at pronunciation, so I don't know. I might be saying that wrong. But we can read the description on this as well because, you know, your girl sucks. Let's see. What is this called? Charlotte. So according to Sephora.com, it is a long-lasting, weightless, high... Blah, blah, blah. A long-lasting, weightless, hybrid skincare foundation, Charlotte's secret to flawless, poreless looking, confident complexion. So I did not know that. It's a hybrid between like good, like it has like ingredients to help your skin along with, you know, makeup. So that's actually pretty awesome. Um, and it is a matte finish, definitely a matte finish, but I, as you can see, I don't look like dry or anything. It applied really, really nicely. It gave a full coverage. It is matte, but I also use like a ton of setting spray and 
other things that balance it out so even if you're like on the oily side I think you'll like this or excuse me even if you're on the dry side I still think you'll like this if you just apply it correctly if you use like a nice primer and a nice lotion before I think you could work with it but it's a really great foundation and I'm obsessed already I'm like so hot, why don't I just drink my ass coffee? Oh my goodness. It is just like a thousand degrees in here. On to the next product I got. And it is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. And you guys, I use this again today and I really, really like it. I was a little hesitant. Um, only because I'm always hesitant when prying, when prying, when trying new ch charmers. What am I saying? I'm always hesitant when I'm trying new primers. Wow, this isn't a primer. All right, take two. I'm always hesitant when trying new concealers. I don't know why. I just like, it's just like this area is like so crucial to me. And like I have a certain expectation on how I like my concealer to act around this like pore area. So I'm always like hesitant to try different ones, but I was in Sephora and I walked past it and I was like, you know what? I saw Patrick Star's like campaign for it and it was really cute and I was like, you know what? We're going to try it and I'm so glad I did because again, wearing it today, it wears beautifully. It blended so great. It does not, it sticks to its name. It does not look cakey whatsoever. It gave me such a beautiful bright eye look, but also concealed really well. The shade number five, and I just, the packaging is so cute as well. Benefit never fails to have cute packaging. It looks like a little pencil with like an eraser on the top. It's super, super cute. Like I said, I'm in the shade number five, which is kind of like a sandy, um, shade it's not too light which is what I like it still looks no, natural but it look it looks good we can look up the description on this too because her <laughs> I suck so this concealer is a multi-purpose full coverage liquid concealer that hides it all from dark under eye circles to blemishes to discoloration so that is definitely true I use this under my eyes in my chin center of my forehead and then I also used it to clean up my brows today and I think it looks really really nice it did super well when cleaning my eyebrows it blended really nicely it didn't look like cakey it didn't get like flaky or anything because I tend to like get concealer like flaky like right over here and that didn't happen with this one which is really really nice but so far no creasing no break it like like my makeup's not breaking up or anything nor my chin or on uh, near my under eyes so that's great love this concealer so far I don't know why it took me so long to try it out but I'm glad I did I definitely am excited to keep using this on to the next thing that I got and I think it's like the thing like I am most excited for aside from another product, but it is the Hula Caramel Bronzer. I am obsessed with their Hula regular bronzer, but this is the caramel one. And I've been seeing it all over like YouTube and people have just been raving about it. And I think it's just so beautiful. Ever since I started getting into like self tanner, I've just been like loving like that bronzy, like orangey bronzer as opposed to like an ashy one so this is like just the perfect shade again i used it today um when doing my bronzer and i just think it just gives you such a beautiful like sun kissed bronzy look that i've just been so obsessed with lately especially with like the right highlighter oh my god and like tan skin ugh, over like so sold anyways this blended, I don't even have to really talk about this because we all know Hula bronzer is like the best and it just blends really nicely. The color tone is beautiful, especially if you're tan. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and yeah, I don't really have to read a description for this because we already know this shade is really pretty. Next thing I bought, which is always a repurchase for me and it's the only mascara I literally ever use. I don't even bother trying new mascaras because I'm so like ride or die for this thing it's just so amazing i always get compliments on my eyelashes people literally always ask me if they're real so i had to pick up some more they are real mascara by benefit and like i don't even have to say anything because they're awesome i'm using it today but i also have lashes on so it doesn't really go you know so just had to pick that up i get it again in the shade black and i don't get waterproof because whoever invented waterproof mascara why would you do that to yourself just yeah anyways 
pick this up as I always do whenever every couple of months I have to buy a new one so next thing I got is from bare minerals and it is the bare minerals highlighter and I am in the shade or the shade that I got is the shade free and you guys I don't know like where I've been clearly under a rock or something because I had no idea bare minerals was even making makeup that wasn't like the original makeup that's like you know the full um, like just powders like I had no idea that like they were diving into highlighters and other things so this was a shock to me do you, do you guys get what I'm saying but glad I found it it is such a beautiful shade it is in the shade free I'm like I don't even think you guys can see it's just so pretty I'm gonna swatch it oh, like oh yes give it to me oh. I'm wearing it today and it's just such a beautiful, I think it goes really well with the uh, Hoola Caramel Bronzer. It just looks very bronzy and beautiful and I love, 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 love that highlighter. I've been needing to get new highlighters because I've been stuck in the same highlighter right using the same ones. So glad I found this guy. It blends really, really nicely. It isn't like super shimmery. Like it's, I hate the highlighters that just have like, are just like straight shimmer. I'm not a fan and that, this isn't it. It blends really nicely and it just gives you that beautiful sheen. Like just the way a highlighter is supposed to. So love this stuff. We'll definitely be using it a ton. So glad I picked that up. The thing I got is from the Sephora collection which I've recently been like totally in love with and I don't know why it's taken me this long to discover the Sephora collection brand but you guys their stuff is really good quality and really inexpensive. Um, but I ran out of, or no, I didn't run out of, I lost my Dior lip gloss, so I need more. So I've been trying to use, like, or find a different brand because I don't need Dior lip gloss if I'm going to be losing it, clearly. But, um, so I wanted to find different brands that have, like, a good lip gloss that I like. And I went to Boxem, and it was just, like, so sticky and, like, really glittery. Wasn't really feeling it. And then I was, like, at the mirror, like, testing it out, and right beside it was the Sephora collection. So my mom's like, oh, like, try this one. And I'm like... Hmm, okay. So I love this shade. This is actually not the shade that I wanted to pick out. The other one was sold out, but I did like this one as well. So I think I'm going to order the other one online. Hopefully they have it in stock. But this is in the shade Bubblegum. And oh, it's so pretty. I'm wearing it today on a nude lip. And it's just like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just like a light pink, like a bubblegum. You know? It's really nice. It feels very moisturizing on your lips. It's not like glossy and sticky. That's like annoying. Um, so I'm coming. What? I'm coming. I'm like trying to film. Just tell me dinner's ready. I know. I want to eat too. Anyways, it feels so nice, and it still like feels like moisturizing, but yet also not sticky, which is something like there's like a thin line with lip gloss. Like you want moisturizing, but you don't want like like tacky it doesn't feel tacky it's nice I would definitely recommend it and I think I'm gonna pick up more shades in this collection <sighs> so hot all right I took a little quick break to go eat some dinner it's about like eight o'clock now so I'm just gonna go and finish on we left off at the lip gloss yes Next thing I got, another repurchase, and it is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I love this stuff. I use it every single night uh, during my skincare routine. It's part of my skincare routine, and I'm obsessed. Last time, I think I got, like, the amber tint, which is, like, a nice rose gold kind of tint, um, but they were sold out of it, and I actually got that one on accident last time, um, and I meant to get the clear one, which is what I got today, but they were but I somehow ended up getting the amber one, which I actually ended up really liking. And then I tried to get it again today, and it was sold out. So anyways, I ended up getting the original one, which is just like the clear one, which I like. But I really like that tint. Um, but anyways, love this stuff. It's really, really moisturizing. I use it like while I do my makeup, and I'll put it on um, at night before I go to bed after I do all my skincare. And literally, you guys, I wake up the next morning, and it's still on my lips, like and it's on this stuff is super moisturizing and I really really love it it's really it's on the thicker side and it is like it's not tacky but like you definitely will like your lips will stick together a little bit but it tastes so good it's agave so like you can lick your lips and it just 
tastes, I don't have it on now, but anyways, it tastes really, really good and it works really well. It definitely moisturizes. I have like a problem where I just like sometimes I just get really chapped lips, especially like my upper lip will just get super chapped. This always rescues me. So had to pick some of this up because I was running out. Next thing, I think that's all the makeup that I got. Nope, nope, just kidding. The next thing that I got is the Huda, 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 I never say her name right. The next thing that I got is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. And I have been eyeing this thing for a while. I have seen some YouTubers that I watch, um, I, Stephanie was using this. And it looked really, really nice. So I wanted to give it a try. And I don't really dabble in, in cream anything really. I think the most I've ever done is like a cream blush. Maybe, I think. Uh, so I've definitely never used a cream bronzer, but I'm excited to try it out. And this looked like really good. I swatched it in the store. And it seemed really nice and blendable. And Huda, I love her brand in general. So everything has always been really great. And, excuse me, I've always been impressed. But I got it in the shade Light. And it, the, the first one is Fair. So this is like light. The other one is Fair. But this one seemed like it was a nice like golden tan that I like, like that nice bronzy tan that I've been talking about. So I'm excited to try this. I'll show you guys. Like, oh, it's so creamy. Let's see where did I put that. I don't know if like my camera will pick it up, but it's like a nice, you see, I don't know if my camera will pick up this shade, but it's such a beautiful like bronzy shade. And as you can see, it blends really, really nicely. It's super blendable. And I'm really excited. I haven't used this before, so I'm excited to use this. I was like, I couldn't decide what I wanted to use when I did my makeup today. I didn't know if I wanted to use the Caramel Hula or the Huda uh, Cream Contour. And this ended up winning, but I'm going to use this tomorrow, and I'm excited. Really, 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 really love her stuff. So I'm sure I will be very pleased with this, but it'll be a new experience because I've never used creams before. So love this. I think uh, light will be a good shade. So excited to try this guy. Next thing that I bought is the Lily Lashes, the Galici Glam. And these are in the, sh the sh style Lux. Uh, they're empty because I'm wearing them right now. So I really, really like these. These are, are these mink. These are light mink and everyday natural lash is what it says on the box. I don't know if you guys can see, but they are just very natural. Very, this one like I applied better than this one, but I'm still like learning on how to apply fake lashes. Still a process for me, um, but I think they look really natural. I'm all about natural lashes because I have really small like lids, so I don't have that much space. And if I have too dramatic of lashes, then it just like it's too much and it totally covers up my whole lid, and it's just like lash brown, lash brown. Like it doesn't look good. So these I thought were really pretty and like natural and didn't do too much and didn't, weren't too like voluminous and just like out there. I thought they looked very natural and they are, um, are very comfortable. So I like these. This is my first time ever wearing Lily lashes. So I got those lashes. Next thing, next two things are hair products, which lately I have been, I've always been neglecting my hair ever since I've gotten into makeup. I'm just like, I'll always just do my makeup, like spend hours doing my makeup and then just throw my hair in a bun and call it a day. So I've been trying to break out of that and like actually start like doing my hair, taking care of it and using like good quality products like I do with my skincare and my makeup. So I decided to test out some hair goodies today. And the first thing I picked up is the Carastas Nutritive Blow Dry Primer for dry hair. And I don't know what it is, but lately, like, my hair is just, like, hasn't, like, necessarily been dry, but I just feel like I could add more moisture to it. So, especially before styling it, like, with heat products. So, I have been looking for things that I can put, like, a styling cream before I put any heat products into my hair, especially blow drying. Um, I already put a heat protectant, but I wanted something else, like a cream. So I found this online, I found it in Sephora, it had really good reviews, and it is, let me read it to you guys, it is a, and this is like, it's like a blow drying primer, so you apply this into your hair before you blow dry it, and it's, and it says a leave-in thermal protectant for dry hair that supports up to 85% less breakage from styling tools. It's good for straight, wavy, curly, coiled, and tightly coiled hair. And it says the key benefits are addresses roughness, adds shines, and protects hair against heat. 
who doesn't want that so um, it had a really great review so I wanted to go ahead and test this guy out excuse me I love Karasas as a brand I've used them like growing up like consistently and religiously my mom worked for a hair salon so she'd always bring us Karasas and so I swear by this brand so I, I have a feeling it's gonna be good but we'll see I'll let you guys know but I'm excited to try this guy out the next thing I picked up is the Ki Ki Kuei Oi. So the next product that I got is the Whey hair oil and I ran out of hair oil so I wanted to try another one and I've been really wanting to try this brand. I mean obviously we know that the queen of hair came out with it and obviously has to be good. So this is what it looks like and I like the packaging how it's just nice and simple. Um, but it says, according to Sephora, it is a lightweight multitasking oil that fights frizz, prevents heat and UV damage, and delivers a high gloss, super smooth finish to all hair types. So it helps with straight, wavy, curly coiled, and tightly coiled hair. It delivers uh, sleek, frizz-free hair, color safe, and protects hair as well. This hair oil is packed with African gallon Gallinja, Amma oil and Asian borage oil to keep color from fading, protecting to keep color from fading and protecting hair from heat damage. It also addresses split ends and has a fragrance with notes of violet, gardenia, lang, yang lang, and white musk. And it's without paraben, sulfate, and fathlites. I swear they set me up with these names, these words. Like who came up with these words? I don't know. Anyways, it's just a hair oil. I put it in my hair today, although I curled, after I curled my hair and the curls already fell out, you guys. I have such, like, the hair follicle, my hair follicle is so thin that, like, my hair just falls out. Especially, I just washed my hair today, so I kind of knew going into it, it wasn't really going to hold. My hair only holds curls, like, when it's dirty. I know as weird as that sounds, but truly, like, the more oily it is, the better it is at holding curls. So, um, don't know how I got into this topic, but as I was saying, I used it today and it just gave my, like, I have a problem with frizz, as you guys know, and this definitely helped. Uh, I haven't used it when my hair is curly, so that's, like, the ultimate test, but when I just finished styling my hair today, I applied it and it looked really, really nice. So, I am excited to keep using this, and it was really, like, moisturizing and oily and had a nice shine to it, so it really took care of all the flyaways, which I have a lot of, so... I really like it so far. The next thing that I got is an eyeshadow palette and believe it or not, it's not Morphe. I know, I feel like every palette I have, no legit every palette I have is Morphe. Not I feel like, it is, for sure. But the next thing I got is a palette and it's from Vi- Ooh, had a lash malfunction. All right, so the, what was I saying? What that I got is the Violet Voss Vibes palette and it's the Neon Press Pigments and oh my gosh, this thing is total vibes. Like, hello, can we just talk about the packaging and how cute it is? It is so many, how many, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten colors that look like this. And you guys, this is right up my alley these days. I've been loving diving into some color. I'm gonna open it and swatch it. I'm gonna be, I'm already covered in makeup. I went to Sephora today, so. Let's just get, let's just do some more damage. So, this is the palette. It is so pretty. The pa I've never used Violet Voss, the brand in general, let alone any of their palettes or their eyeshadows, but the packaging is super, super cute. It's 10 colors. It looks like this, and it has a mirror, which is always great. Who doesn't love a mirror in a palette? Oh, shit. Whoops. So these are the colors and guys, oh my gosh, like these are so bright and so pretty. I already have like a bunch of ideas of different things that I want to do with this palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch just a few shades just so you guys can get an idea. The first one that is speaking to me is this neon green over here, which is aerobics. That's cute. Super cute. Ooh, it's very, very creamy when like putting my finger in there. And as you can see, it is very heavily pigmented. That is so pretty. Then we can go on with the neon pink, and this is called Boombox. That's Boombox, like, oh my gosh, like strawberry kiwi. Hello, yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm calling the next look, strawberry kiwi. 
just wait for it. But anyways, I'm not going to swatch all of them. But as you can see, they, like, look at that. They're super pigmented, very, very bright neon colors. And I've been looking for a palette that has neon colors because I've been wanting to, like, dare myself and dabble in some color, you know? So, super excited. Actually, I was walking out of Sephora when I had gotten all my other makeup. And as I'm walking out, I see this palette and I'm like, oh... Like, I had to go back. So I went back and bought it because it's just so, so freaking pretty. And I need, I need, like, colors like these. Who doesn't? Everyone needs these in their collection. Anyway, so I got that. And then I also picked up uh, this, um, another repurchase. And it's just the Born This Way foundation. I picked up another color. I picked up the golden color because my other one is, excuse me, a little light. So I had to get one that was a bit tanner. Um, as I am, yes, I'm that bitch who likes to use two different shades of foundations. Yes, I'm extra. I know. Anyways, I just had to pick up another shade of that bomb foundation, which I don't need to say anything else about. The next things I got, I've also been wanting to get into glitter lately, so I picked up some things. The first thing that I got is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, and I got it in the shade Smoky Storm. It's really, really pretty. I couldn't decide between, I know I wanted, like, I was, like, initially looking for a gel or um, a glitter liner and I happened to see this first so I'm like I know this isn't a gel liner but you know it's glitter or I know it's not a glitter liner but it was still glitter and it was really pretty so I was like you know what I think we can manage to throw this in there too so this is it the packaging is super cute I've actually I don't use steel that often but the brand is really great I do like it but let's Like, tell me that isn't just so pretty and just like full of freaking glitter. I can't wait to just throw this on my lid. I feel like the camera is not picking up like it's true shades. Like look at that. It's like a metallic-y shimmer. And I think if you just apply that all over the lid, oh my god, with some nice lashes, it'd be really pretty. And I never do glitter, so I wanted to start getting myself out of my comfort zone and just playing with a little bit more glitter. And now I'm like covered in glitter. <laughs> and I've also been wanting to get more into like cut creases and I've been wanting to do like some liner, like some gel liner with the cut creases and I didn't have any in my collection. So I picked up the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. This is it. And I got it in the shade Midnight Cowboy. That's oh, such a cute name. Can never open these things. All right, we got it. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's such, again, it's kind of like a midnight metallic-y glitter and I felt like it would just look really really pretty on the cut creases there we are it's super super pretty it's like a metallic-y shade again and I feel like this would just be so beautiful I feel like it'll just really define that cut so I want to definitely give this a try I have a couple makeup looks in mind that I'm gonna use some glitter so I had to pick up some glittery things because I just don't have any in my collection and then the last couple of products are just some lip products I got Another lip gloss. It was the same the same Sephora one as this one that I used today. This is just in the shade Perfect Nude, and it's just a perfect nude shade. I'm gonna attempt to swatch it. I seriously think having claws would make this easier, but it doesn't. And I legit have claws these days, so I don't understand. This is the perfect nude lip gloss, and it is so, so pretty. It looks a little bit more pigmented than it does when you apply it on your lips. When I tried it on the store, it didn't look this pigmented, but it just is such a very flattering gloss. I really like this formula from the Sephora collection. It's their gloss, and I really, really like it. And the packaging is cute too, like, okay. So I picked up some lip liners in the Sephora collection, and they're the Rouge Gel Lip Liners. And I got like a nude situation and then a little bit more like auburn-y shade. I have been using liners that don't have any names on them because they're so old. So I was like, you know what, men, you're picking up some new liners because it's time. You need some. You have old, dingy-ass lip liner. And this is it. This is dressed to the 90s. Super cute. Kind of like a nude, but a little bit darker, a little bit more taupe and auburny. Then the other shade I got is Rose Wine. I really, really like that. It's definitely like a wine shade, a little bit more berry. And I did get a lipstick, but I got it from my mom. It's like a more elder person color. 
<laughs> anyways that is the last thing from my haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said it's always my favorite filming and watching Sephora hauls so now that I've talked about these products I'm super excited to dive in and play with all of them now that I'm like totally covered in makeup um, we know it was a good day so now I'm about to play with these a little bit more and just yeah I got a lot of good stuff this time so I'm gonna just dive into all of it but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time bye guys